But first, our Justin Sacher is live on one of the many neighborhoods hit hard by this fire. Justin? Catherine and Ken, it took just moments for the Detweiler fire to come down the hill from the north behind me, jump over Highway 140, and then burn about a dozen homes here in this neighborhood alone. So for those who are impacted by losing everything, of course, the lasting impact of the fire is for a lifetime. But even for those whose homes were spared, things will never be the same. Across the street, uh, they've lost probably uh, 15 homes completely. Yeah. This is one of the guys from across the street. We went over yesterday, and he was standing in the middle of the road covered with uh, stickers and uh, half of his hair skins off. Richard Guy says caring for someone's lost pet is just what neighbors do. So we got her washed off and brushed her out, and she's looking a lot better. She looked like a dirt clod. Guy assumes the cat belongs to a neighbor or ex-neighbor. Piles of rubble now stand where homes used to be. It's uh, it's spooky when there's all those houses gone and people gone next door and they were there that last week. You go, how permanent are things? Guy nearly lost his home. Actually, four feet from the corner of the house over there, it's completely burned all the way around the house. And it just show how vigilant people are being here. We were outside talking to a family, looking at the damage, and a new fire popped up right behind us over here. They went in, called 911. And while waiting for firefighters to arrive, Guy and a neighbor grabbed their shovels and stopped the fire from spreading. You're so grateful that you're here. You got to help. Even now that these neighbors are even no longer neighbors, we're still looking at people looking out for other people, showing insurance adjusters and insurance people where these addresses used to be on the street. We're live near Mariposa. Justin Sacher, CBS 47 Eyewitness News. Boy, oh boy, Justin. Thank you for that. It's just eye-opening to see just the devastation there. And so sobering. And the yeah. fact that just, just within feet, their home, that one man's home was spared. Unbelievable. Uh, turning to weather, a lot of folks